uh, well, so far, besides the fact that uh, Parasite is going to be in the second book, is it was hinted at that it's going to be sort of telling um, a little bit more of Clark Kent's story. Like, for example, uh, he had a chance for a sexual encounter and missed out on it. Or I, I think they were inferring to... When he has his apartment, he has a next door neighbor who's female, and Ooh. I guess yeah, I, I think it. I, I I'm not 100 percent certain, but I think it, pretty certain it's a female character. I don't know if they're if they're in, implying to uh, at present time or, or past time, you know, growing up, because you know that's always been like a little tease that you know is he a virgin because of his uh. More, you know, moral aspect that you know that his parents groom up to wait till marriage, or is it some kind of statement that the comics have made? But uh, you know, I mean, to, to me, it was like a little bit of both. Like he's First trying to be playboy. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I think that they even they even pulled that in a uh, in a um, a little small little novel about how pure Clark was. That some girl that was a. Uh, obsessed with him well not um, obsessed obsessed but wanted to hook up with him and she managed to get this uh, invisible power from you know kind of like a, a rehash of a of um season one you know episode instead of it being lex luther being the focus there was clark Kent, and she wanders into his room when she's invisible so to speak and she's looking out she's looking for stuff that uh to sort of hint at like what can she start a, a conversation with him about and she, 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 she you know she's going through his stuff it's like wow it's like n no porn here n nothing it's like he's squeaky you know squeaky clean you know and uh, I mean that, that was like a little I was like oh Clark Kent doesn't even have porn in, in his room no playboy mags or nothing <laughs> no internet porn nothing <laughs> and, and that, that search is three <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, it's like even Superboy pulled that crap. Like, like some uh, some girl tried to tried to invite him into into her hotel room, and, and Superboy and Cog is like, you know, good night. He, he gives her a little peck on on the on the cheek, and he walks off. And he's like, and now you got the, you know, but uh, I mean that would be pretty interesting in the second book that to explore a uh, missed opportunity at, at sex. Ooh. Yeah, one of my main complaints with Superman Earth One it was that when they first announced it and they showed the cover of it, I'm like, oh my god, what is this? Because you look at the cover and it screams this new fad of everything dark and nitty gritty and twilight like sparkling. And then when I actually saw the reviews come out, everybody was praising it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover in this situation. Yeah, because, I mean, in, in, in regards to the whole hoodie thing, it's like, it's barely in, in there. I mean, but the only thing it really, I don't even know why he wears a hoodie, but, I mean, I, I guess you could say it to conceal, you know, some aspect of, of his power. So, or maybe he's into hoodies because the only thing I recall him wearing a hoodie is, is after he's gone to uh, Metropolis and... He, he doesn't really know what he, what he wants to do with his life. You know, he, he uh, checks out a uh, apartment. The landlord lady is like, you know, so are you, you going to be going to college? And he's like, no, I'm not really. You know, I just finished uh, a junior college. And, you know, he's like, I'm just trying to figure myself out. And uh, then he goes down. He, he, he walks the street. Some dumbass with a gun it's like you know give me your wallet your jewelry you know, your, your watch your wallet your, your cell phone and he, he gets his eyes uh, light up you know like he's about, he's about to do his heat vision and he's like you know you should walk away and and the guy's like nice contact ooh scary and then he, he blasts him with it to make him drop the gun or something and he walks off I mean, yeah, he, he basically, they really explore different aspects they can do. Like, he, he tries for football. He uh, he goes to, I guess, well, this company where, you know, they're trying to figure out this equation, and he just looks at it, gets a, uh, a, a, a notepad or some writes it down, and it's like, hey, give this to them. Five seconds later, they come back out and say, hey, we, we want to talk to you. 
and you know, basically he's trying it out, and um, I don't really know what angle they're going with to try to have him look like uh, you know with Kirk, Kirk Kent because when you see him, if you read the book, in my personal opinion, I think they were trying to pull a Dean Kane because I, I swear I, it looks like they're going that route with Kirk Kent, you know, with the glasses and all that. And, yeah. But uh, it's an interesting read. You should definitely check it out. Don't let the cover fool you. Very <laughs> very little, very little on on the hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely add it to my cart the next time I'm shopping for comic books. <laughs> the, the the best part, in my opinion, is a uh, um, Lo, um, Lois Lane getting in his face you know, near the end, like. Uh, when it because basically the, the Daily Planet is going under, you know, and um, you know she, you know, it's after he's hi, he's hired at the Daily Planet near the end, and she, Lois Lane, pretty much gets up in his face and says, you know, what's your real angle? Why do you want to work here? Okay, when you could get work anywhere else and get paid much more, and he looks kind of nervous when when she basically confronts him. He's he's trying to. It's like, well, I saw you guys out there when everyone else was running, and you know, you stood your ground, blah blah blah. So, what else were we talking about? Well, so it was it was a good one. Then it was good read. What was a good read? The one you just said, Superman Earth One. Oh yeah, Earth, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying for for the sequel. Hmm. Yeah. All right, then, um, did anyone have anything else he wanted to say? Bring up. Uh, annoying YouTubers. <laughs> I can't... Oh, God. Um, ow. That's no, let's, let's, let's do that. Bad let's do that. Chris Ray well, demo. well, I, oh, shut up, Marco. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay away from that drama. You guys can take this one. Double go ahead, anime. Go ahead. No, you got more to say than we do, Neo. No, I don't. Yes, you do. So, no, I don't. what happened exactly? I, what happened? Wait, I, I'm lost here. I am Jesus, too. So am I. It all comes back to you, save anime. <laughs> um. Explain. Tick tock, tick tock. Uh, let's see. Um, there was this guy called Sagan. I actually made a video about. He's been going on Kai video after Kai video, oh, basically talking about, oh, um, Kai is all filler, and the original Dragon Ball Z isn't. <laughs> He's saying the manga is filler, too. He's been smoking something very good. <laughs> the manga is filler? Yeah, the manga is filler. What? Oh, my God. I, I because it doesn't have filler to be filler. Boy, he has to be going. So fake, ma so fake no. man Namek had plot. I, I, where, where was the plot? Fake Namek. Where was the development? I, I wonder. Yeah. No wait, 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 wait. You, you, you're telling me that some guy said that the manga is filler. Yeah. He has to be trolling. Seriously. Seriously. Or he's high. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he's Either that, or I misconcepted what he said <laughs> wrong. Maybe. But basically, he was saying, oh, Kai is mostly filler. He's smoking the same stuff Doug is. <laughs> hmm. like, He's saying Kai is not even close to being accurate. The original Z is, though. Okay. Ooh, Out of wow. his mind. Um, I'm saying that's logic for you. Yeah. What, what, what about, uh, have you seen that, that guy with the beards video on Magneto? Magneto... A big Kai fanboy. No, it's like he's a, he's this forty year old douche that is harping on about oh you know the uh, um, um Martin Warfare three is great. Oh, oh yeah, this crap! As soon as you said forty year old, I thought you were talking about Movie World Express. He is a troll. Bottom line. Because to be honest with you, everyone thinks Movie World Express is like in his early early 30s, but I actually talked to Zod Rider, and he's actually almost 40. Mm. Yeah, he's really. Because <laughs> when Spitty I saw... He knows no bounds when it comes to age. And 
and it's truth. It's a true thing that Movie World Express is a pedophile. Ew! The fuck, man! Wow! Did not know that. <laughs> Too much He tried picking up. He tried hitting up on a seventeen-year-old girl. Well, it depends Ew. on how state you live in. For that to be legal. <laughs> he, he must be desperate. If he can't find women his own age. That's, yeah, that's not illegal in everywhere. And he lives in his sister's uh, house or apartment. I know that already. What, 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 about that, what about that one dude that Zam did a video on? You mean, where, the, you mean the Watchmen moron? Or, you know, the, the guy that was saying that, you know, that you know kids kids want to be sexually abused or something like that. It's okay. You know, they want to. Like, they're asking for it. And he, and he put this on uh, Facebook, and then he says uh, that he was just joking. And Zam says, well, since you were saying it was a joke, I leaked the information to the cops. You know, since you think it's oh, so funny. Oh, oh, the... Mad Thad. Wait, wasn't he on Dragon Ball? Yeah. He was on the Dragon Ball Z protest. Oh, not Mad Thad. I don't know. Is he in jail now or something? I think. Yeah, be yeah, in jail. yeah, yeah. He, he's in jail, and, and I and people were actually defending that guy. Like, oh, how 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 can you like the guy? I mean, no, he's dude. a pedophile. Nothing. That's gross. You think that's and bad? There, there were videos. Yeah, it was really bad. And he said that if I adopted a girl and I made her my like sex slave or something it, it was no, really no, no, no. it's just there's actually people on Facebook defending him no, no. yeah people True. were saying okay. oh it's just a joke it's nothing serious like you on gotta... like on like the police like on the news report thing on the Facebook comments people were defending his ass literally okay they well were... alright I need to bring this up if you think that's that's fucked up people are defending Mr. Anime <laughs> Mr. wait Who's Mr. Anime? Okay, here, let me Mr. explain. I'm Mr. I'm my parents. Mr. Anime also, I think his name was Trey Sessler or something, I'm not so sure, but he was this guy who for the longest time was one of, like, the OG people who started the anime community. He was one of the few. And you know, I first started doing anime reviews on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. One, well, I'm not going to say he's the first, but I'm saying he was probably one of the first. Yes. Um, and then, like, you know, after a while, he sort of, I don't know, became burnt out and he didn't do much, but... This news report came out earlier this... What happened? You say something, uh, Wall? No. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Continue. I'm just like, yeah, 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 and I'm like, huh? You're like, no. <laughs> Interrupted me. I was yelling at my girlfriend. Oh, man. Can't believe you. Can't believe you. But, so, then this news report came out saying that he had single-handedly murdered his entire immediate family. And was what? planning to kill more people, too. Like it is Yep, this guy was pretty damn... Uh, I don't know what it was, but he killed I his guess. mother, his father, his brother. Yeah, his whole family, too. Yep, he planned on doing a shootout in, like, a grocery store or a school or something like that. He and the funny on thing is, in Blood, he people. wrote in, I love my family. Yeah, this guy was just... Ay, ay, ay. And people were... Defending that, saying, "Oh, the best comment was, well, the best ones were like, oh, you guys weren't there. You don't know if it's true. Maybe he was set up." And one person went so far to say that it's okay, man. It's just a conspiracy by the government because they hate anime. So they hate <laughs> anime so much. <laughs> they're gonna try to take like, that so it's like he fell down the stairs and got his whole family. Dude, he <laughs> fell down the stairs <laughs> and he was firing everywhere. And he hit his brother and then he tripped and fell to the next room and shot. <laughs> and then he tripped and fell to the kitchen. <laughs> that people are saying he was framed. Yeah, people say he was framed when even he com he confessed to it and he was planning to do. And there was videos of him shooting stuff with his guns. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I, I some of the comments I was disturbed to say the least. I was like, um, he murdered his family. I, I don't understand why you people are suddenly defending this guy. Even Phoenix Wright would say he's guilty. I was like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and someone put dibs on his anime. Not bullshitting. Uh, Wait. <laughs> that's some bullshit. Hello? Oh, hey, yeah. look who it is. Hey, future Gohan. 